more or less just uh, telling God, no, I'm not going to do this, no, I'm not going to do that. And I knew he had something for me. About eight weeks ago, I couldn't stand him anymore. And I resubmitted myself to him. I began praying earnestly. And I began reading my Bible to find out what God's Word had for me. This past Tuesday night, I was at a sharing meeting in Starkville. Some of the young people here tonight were there also. First time I had been there, Mike, who was sitting up in the choir, asked me, since the first time I had been there, I was bound to have something to share. And I said, yes, I do. And I said, for some time, I know that it's been on my mind that the Lord has something for me. He said, I would like for y'all to pray for me today. He said, there's no better time than the present. So immediately, we had a prayer. That night, the Holy Spirit touched me. And uh, there's no doubt in my mind that he has led me to be a full-time minister of music or evangelistic. Um, in evangelistic music or a combination of both. And uh, this had been on my mind. As a matter of fact, I was home last weekend and talked to my parents about it. And I said, I can't imagine myself doing anything but this. But Tuesday night gave me all the confirmation that I needed. Hey.
God, we count it such a privilege to be here with you this morning, Lord. We, we thank you for the weather just the way it is, Lord. It's a little bit cloudy, but Lord, it just feels good. That breeze is blowing. And, and Father, we just thank you that when you're here, Lord, that it doesn't matter what the weather looks like. God, I just thank you for everyone that's here this morning, Lord, and I love them. I really do. And, and Father, I just thank you that the love I have for them is not something that I've worked up myself, or, but, it, but it's something that comes right from you. And, and Lord, that's what makes it good. Father, I just pray that you'll teach us all to love, Lord, the way Christ loved. And, and Father, that you truly make us your disciples through your love. 
Lord, I just ask in the name of Jesus that you just continue to bless us, Lord, in these last four services that we're going to have. Lord, that you would anoint everybody that's going to sing for us and speak for us. And Lord, also anoint us so that we might hear your word, Lord. Father, so that it become a living part of us, something alive in our lives. Lord, I just thank you that you're so good to us, Lord, that it's just good to be one of your children. Father, I pray that you'll just teach us more and more to get our eyes off of men and put our eyes on Jesus. Because he's our strength and he's our power. Lord, we just want to say we love you this morning. And we thank you that you're here with us, Lord, because we've gathered in your name. And Lord, we'll be careful to give you the praise and glory for everything that happens. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. receive until you know Jesus in his fullness and believe. You're the one who's going to have to say, you're the one, I am going to walk with Jesus all the way. Amen. <clears throat> it's, it's just a joy to be here with you this week, to share with you and have you to share with us. But you know, we, we realize that if, if, if anything good comes out of this week together, or if anything good comes out of these services, uh, we know that, that, that God is going to do it. You know, we just can't do it. We honestly can't. We, we know if, if, if anything happens that will bring glory to Jesus, that, that God, you know, has done it, His Holy Spirit. So I'd just like to sing this song to the Lord, and I'd like you to share with me and sing this song to Him.
for the things you have done for me. awful early, so if I miss a note, you just praise the Lord, okay? And
want to share one more song. I want you to really think about what this song has to say. You know, it's, it's good to know today that, that we're just children of the King. But, you know, really, we're the ones who should have been crucified. We really are. You know, sometimes it's, it's, it's kind of hard to understand that. It's kind of hard to understand it if, if we've really not seen in God's Word that, that we all, you know, stand in need of, of, of a Savior. We all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So something had to be done. This, this sin problem had to be dealt with. And folks, it, it was actually us that should have gone to the cross and, and died that death that Jesus died, but, but he took our place. And I, I'd like to share this song this morning uh, that, that I should have been crucified, not, not the Lord Jesus, but it, it was Jesus that, that took my place.
his business. He's changed the rich. He's changed the poor. He's changed the meek. He's changed the lowly. He's changed my life. Maybe he's changed you. But if he hasn't,
we're just so glad for what Jesus has done for each of us. Lord, thank you now for this opportunity to hear from your precious word. We ask, Father, that your knowing be upon Brother Bob as he comes and shares the Lord Jesus with us. Thank you, Lord, for this glorious privilege to be gathered here. And we just ask the Holy Spirit to have his perfect way in his service. In Jesus' name, amen.